Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about a Cypress introduction. Why the market is right now is uh, like going on a Cypress side for automation side means. See the comparison when we are seen into that outside of that Cypress, uh, there are we are most of the time using for Selenium, right? The Selenium when we are running into that uh, application, whenever you want to run on some some particular application, that will run into outside of the browser, not for inside, right? Means it need to be launch the browser and it will work. Cypress also do the same thing, but we can able to inspect everything into that same place and it is coming from front side, front end side. That will, uh, I'll show you when, uh, when it is coming the first test case creation, right? That moment you can able to see how it works and everything. And this is basically introduction for this particular Cypress. Cypress is a text generation for, sorry, so Cypress is a, a next generation of a front-end testing tool and built it for the modern web application. Means basically this Cypress, they are implemented in a front-end side testing tool. Okay. It is by default, it is used for JavaScript to write for automation test cases. The Cypress is addressing the key pain points from other automation tools, which is other already presented in the market. That all it is pinpointing and it is coming to that new future. That is a Cypress. Okay. What are the previous uh, uh, defects like drawbacks are presented? It is coming for that fulfilling purpose. This Cypress built in Node.js and comes with the packaged as a NPM module, okay? How we are going to build some application by a JVM and like, right? The similar format, uh, this Cypress is built in under the Node.js, okay? If you want to use Cypress, you must install for Node.js. Then only we can able to use it. Other than, otherwise we can't. As it is built in Node.js, due to that, we can say that we are going to use for all related Node.js functionality. No, because we are going to use for our default is JavaScript. This Cypress by default, it will use for JavaScript and 90 percent is, but we are using for inbuilt of commands, which is Cypress having those things. We are going to use it, our commands, Cypress commands, and we are going to do for automation. Cypress makes our test a very simple when we compare with other tools like Selenium, Java, Python, etc. Okay. Cypress is having a different architecture when you compare with the Selenium. When you compare with the Selenium, it is completely different architecture for the Cypress because Selenium, it is having inbuilt of support of different, different, but Cypress, it is supporting only for JavaScript but it is like a front-end type. We can able to easily work with that. And also it is Cypress having very fast, easy, and more reliable test cases we can able to create by using a Cypress. When we compare with the Selenium versus Cypress architecture, most te testing to Selenium operating by running outside of the browser and existing for remote command across the network. When we when but when we are going to for comparing to the Cypress engine, it is directly uh, running inside the browser. It is not going to outside the browser. Why I am saying that outside the browser means when you open something browser, when you use the Selenium, we need to write for a command called. We need to create one driver object equal to new Chrome driver. Then we need to use for our driver to launch, right? Means driver dot get we need to use and then we need to launch the URL. Similar format also we are going to use. But whenever you running into your program, that moment what will happen? 
uh, that browser it will open outside of that we, whenever you want to change in the middle of that or you want to find something uh, inspecting element that inspecting element you need to use it here it is not possible while running we can't do that right it's completely outside when you run that particular test case and once it is execution stop or something like until you face the error until you need to complete that end story we need to run we can't do for middle change but cypress is providing that because we are running inside the browser this enable the cypress to listen and modify the browser behavior at a runtime by manipulating the dom and alternating network request and response on the fly what are the things it is presented if you run like just now i told you right when you run the selenium it will open outside the browser and if you want to rerun like something element is not presented imagine and you are going to click for google okay google.com and this particular text box is not presented means id is changed then it will fail itself there right but you want to a middle you want to interrupt this particular text box value and you need to find element and you need to change into the program and you need to refresh that particular browser itself that facility is not provided by selenium but cypress is enable to we can able to do it a manipulation of the dom when it is a run time also and we even we can able to change a network alternative and we can able to get for the response <clears throat> ecosystem is nothing but cypress having like there are two different boards one is test a runner and dashboard system test runner is nothing but when we create create a test case we need to a run right for this we can able to use test runner and also it will show you the step by step it will display step by step execution we can able to see all the execution steps what are the things we executed in our program side that everything it is it will display for test runner okay when it is going for dashboard system it is having a recording future and also it is a, it is paid we need to a pay and we need to use it for this dashboard for cypress without that like a test runner is basically it is a free of cost and we can able to use it without installation because it is by default whenever you uh, install cypress it will default it will comes under that okay what is the different ways in a cypress in that like there are seven different a uh, cypress things are presented what are the things means a cypress does not use selenium means without using any selenium command we can able to do automation by using cypress because cypress is completely a different than any other language it's completely it will not use selenium a single command it will directly access like a different front end coding type of script cypress focus on doing end to end testing well even we can able to do for end to end testing cypress work on a front end framework or website like jquery angular bootstrap like that okay it's everything it's like a front end framework we can able to use these things and we can able to do automation cypress tests are only written in javascript this cypress script what are the things we are going to do that everything it is by default using for written our test cases by using javascript only cypress is all in one type means we can able to do all the type and also who are can able to use this particular cypress means a developer and also qa member who are working with a front end developers 
those people can able to use the cypress to develop their application the similar format a qa member also can able to use it the cypress by using automating that particular application cypress run much more faster comparing to any other language what are the limitations are present for cypress me cypress limited set browsers because uh, when you going to that selenium it is supporting for all the browser what are the browsers are present in market those all the things it is using but cypress is having only a, there are three or four of browsers only it's like a chrome edge and electron electron is a default browser for cypress it is in built of electron presented for the browser okay and also there is a one more limitation that is a read and write data from external files when you use excel file or js json xml excel css file those files data are reading and writing very complicated and we need to write a different different logics because it is completely using javascript right and we need to use a different different format then only we can able to do a read and write operation for external files but when you combine to the selenium it is selenium is very easy but uh, cypress is very difficult and third party reporting tool integration is limited options means a uh, reporting tool we require right like uh, selenium having external uh, report generation right and the similar format we have some of the limited uh, uh, third party tools to integrate with the report why we require report means after each and every execution we need to get some details and we need to find that and also uh, end of the day all the test cases we are running and how much percentage and everything right that purpose we require for third party this third party integration is a bit complicated and also so like uh, some limitation is present okay and we'll see for the features what all the things are supported in the next video session okay these are the key points for integration until the dot what we learn about this means basically uh, all the steps i'm uh, consolidating and i'm giving over of that like it is a by default it is using javascript first point default is javascript and second is open source means anybody can able to use the free of cost and it is supporting for only javascript and open source and it is run with an uh, in built of uh, node.js built in built in node.js okay it will support for a uh, very less browsers support browsers like a chrome and edge and electro okay and it is having very like uh, a read write operations very difficult and third party integration reporting so very difficult and also we can able to say it will support for end to end and it will uh, like the operating system uh, we can say that this is the one browser execution remote command when it is going to this cypress it is basically operating inside the browser a fifth point we can able to say cypress run inside inside browser okay these are the main uh, points okay and next session we will see for what all the things are presented for our cypress our uh, features okay this all about for introduction thank you for watching if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel 
don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you